Hey YouTube, welcome back, guys. So uh, today I'm going to uh, do a review on this uh, AT&T uh, Radian Max. This one is the Cobalt uh, Blue color. It is a 6.5 inch uh, HD plus display with the Corning uh, Gorilla Glass 5. It has a 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel, and 2 megapixel triple rear cameras. 8 megapixel uh, selfie camera and this one has an uh, internal 32 gigabyte of uh, storage and you could expand up to uh, 120 gigabyte it does uh, support a uh, fast uh, charging 4000 milliamp uh, battery it has a fingerprint uh, reader and it is a uh, android 10 so as you see it is a uh, support by AT&T two years uh, warranty Ultra Series. This is their own uh, AT&T brand and then it is uh, made by uh, Tino Mobile. Tino Mobile is a Chinese ODM company focused on making phones for other brands like Blue, Micro Max, and My Phone. The company have also created their uh, own mobile phone brand like uh, Sugar Phone and uh, Rico Mobile. The company was established in uh, 2005 and is uh, headquartered at uh, Shenzhen in China. So we're going to go over the storage. What is the storage uh, available right now? So uh, there's a fingerprint scanner right there. So I'm going to put my finger there and it's going to automatically unlock it. But unfortunately, every time you power off and power back on, it would ask you to enter your uh, pin number first. Okay, and now you could uh, press the side button right here to lock it, and uh, now you could put your fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner right there to unlock it now. Okay, it's pretty uh, fast, and I can't believe uh, this one. It's a low budget phone. This is more like a flagship with all this uh, option and everything. So first of all, let's go and check it out. You got the contact, photo, Play Store, Google. Once you go into the Google, you got so many of those uh, Google, Gmail, Map, YouTube, Drive, YouTube Music, Play, Movie, and then there's a uh, Duo. And on the bottom right here, you got the phone call, your text message, and your Google Chrome, and then uh, your camera. That's about it. And as you can see, my notification uh, came in. So you can slide left to the other page, and you can add more icons if you want, or more apps. Right here, you have the games, video, news, uh, sports, AT&T, got uh, Conquest and uh, HBO Max and AT&T uh, TV and you had the Bleacher uh, Report so notification you guys swipe right here's all the notification and everything so all your uh, news feed and then you got those uh, navigation button right here back home and recent app open and if you uh, swipe up this is uh, where all your apps are stored at. You got the AT&T uh, Cloud, AT&T uh, Portec, AT&T Smart Wi-Fi, AT&T TV, and then you have this uh, Audio Mac, Bleach Report, Calculator, Calendar, uh, Camera, Candy uh, Crusher Sega, Chrome, and then uh, Clock. You got the CNN, Coinmaster, Contact, DC uh, Universe, and then uh, Device Health, and Device uh, Unlock. You could uh, request for Device Unlock if you met all the requirements. And you got the Google Drive, Duo, and Facebook, Filter, Games, Gmail, 
Google, Google Pay, Ga Congress, Great Big uh, Story, Ga the HBO uh, Max, House of uh, Fun, and uh, Maps, Message, My AT&T, NBA, Newsbreak, Phone, Photos, Play movie and TVs, and uh, Play Store, and you got the Pluto uh, TV, and you got setting, set up, and transfer. You want to do that if you uh, set up on your old phone. You can click on that, and you will copy uh, everything from your old phone to this one. And there's a uh, smart news, solitaire, sound amplifier. Sound recorder, the CW, visual voicemail, YouTube, and YouTube uh, music. So yeah, normally uh, when you go to Play Store or let's see, uh, open another app. Well, normally when you go to YouTube and you open the your app, you will go uh, landscape. portrait and then uh, landscape but once you go upside down you will not do anything but uh, somehow with uh, this uh, Pluto TV when I did the 360 turning it allowed me to go upside down I was kind of surprised see now the phone it is upside down right now so it allow you to rotate uh, 360 so it's kind of weird just want to point that out so I'm not sure if you can watch it this way or not and that's the only ad that will allow me to do it upside down or view it all right so since uh, we just want to go to uh, setting real quick So the model for this phone is uh, U705AA and uh, if you go to network and internet that's to turn on and off your Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So right here you get the Wi-Fi setting and then uh, you can turn on your Wi-Fi calling and Momo network is on AT&T right now. Data usage it show you how much uh, data usage hotspot and tethering if you have a hotspot feature you could click on that and then the, turn on your tethering okay you could do the USB tethering or uh, Bluetooth tethering so right now I don't have it right now so it won't allow me to turn it on and then there's a uh, advanced you could do the airplane mode VPN, if you want to set up the VPN or private uh, DNS and wireless uh, emergency alert so like when you have those uh, Amber alert it will be coming right here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on uh, connected device So this one is a uh, connection preference. You could have uh, Bluetooth and NFC. So right here, you could uh, do the Bluetooth, Android Beam, and cast. You could cast this to your uh, smart TV, and NFC, and printing. You could uh, set up your wireless uh, printing over here, and file receive via Bluetooth. Or you could uh, click on nearby share, share with your uh, friends when they have uh, other uh, Android device. You could connect the wireless only. And uh, also has this uh, Android Auto. If your radio car radio that will support Android radio you can connect via 
케이버 I g u e s set up your Google Assistant here and everything. Or notification, uh, incoming message. Show notification, yes or no. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty uh, overwhelming. So And then there's our uh, apps and notification. So right now it's set up for notification on all apps. If you want certain apps to be on or off, you come in here and then just by switching on or off, okay? And then you have the lock screen, notification, show sensitive uh, content when locked, yes or no. You could just turn it on and off yourself. So right here, you get the three options right here, show, alerting and silent notification or show alerting notification only or do not show a notification in case uh, you don't want anybody to know when the notification come in and then uh, right here you can set the screen time you show you the screen time how much you have been used and then some of these are just uh, default apps. Advanced. And right here you can set up the permissions uh, manager or special app access. Right here we're going to go into the battery real quick. So as you can see right now, once I turn it on, I only use uh, only uh, 2%. Well, I'll try to do this uh, review for now. So you click over here, see what's up, is uh, opening or usage. Battery saver, right now it's off. You can turn it on and it will show you how much uh, battery life you're gonna have. Or you can set the schedule based on percentage. You can set it on whatever you want. So right here, it shows a battery percentage on the upper right hand side, 98%. And if you don't want to show it, you could uh, click on or turn it off and just show the battery level without the percentage, okay? And right here, you can click on battery manager. When manager detects the apps are draining, draining a battery, you will have the option to restrict this apps. Restrict apps may not work uh, properly and uh, notification may be delayed. So last fully charged, I mean, I've been on this phone for 15 minutes ago. And then uh, screen usage full charge, 30 minutes. And right here, you can click on the display. Uh, right now it's at 100% uh, level. You can uh, go in there and then adjust it accordingly if you want. And then uh, the night light, it is on right now. You can turn it off. See the display change color to become uh, cooler. When I turn it back on, become uh, warmer. And there's an adaptive uh, brightness. So if you turn it on, it's uh, automatically uh, self-adjust when it's in the dark room. It's going to turn your screen brighter. Or if you are out in the daytime or outside, it's going to turn the brightness uh, down a little bit. And then uh, you could uh, go ahead over here and set up your own wallpaper. This is uh, default wallpapers. Or you could uh, just scroll on the bottom right here to see what color, what uh, wallpaper you want. And then just click on it.
Or if you want, you can choose your own uh, photo by going to your photos. So right now I'm on dark theme. You want to stay on the dark theme better because uh, if you turn it to uh, bright, you might get a burn image uh, in the long run. So, And then if you want, you click on the advanced. So here is a screen uh, timeout. You can set it 15 seconds, uh, 30, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes, or 30 minutes, or uh, neighbor. In case you are doing an update, you don't want the screen to go shut off or anything like that. Or if you're doing something, you need to keep your screen on for a longer time uh, period. So, And then uh, auto rotation, it is uh, on right now. Font size, if you want to change the font. You go ahead and then just uh, adjust this uh, level right here. And it changes font size to bigger, medium, small, or smaller. And then uh, display size. So right here you can set the display size. And then a uh, screen saver. So when it's on screen saver, when you don't go to sleep, it shows a clock. And if you want, you can click on this. You can set the uh, colors, or you can set the uh, select your Google photo, whatever photo that you want to display when it's on screen saver. And then uh, when to uh, start while wow, docked. You can set it like while charging, while docked, while charging or docked or never. And you click on start now. All right, so we're gonna go to the sound. You got the media sound right here, or the call volume. Got the ringing volume. Or oh, there's an alarm volume. And then right here is the vibrate for calls. If you want to go ahead and then turn this on, it's going to vibrate every time when people call you. Do not disturb. So if you turn this on, your phone will not ring or anything at all. So you got to be careful about this setting. If you accidentally uh, turn it on, nobody could call you. So there's a calls, SMS, MMS, and uh, messaging app. So right here, you can set allow calls, uh, stare uh, contacts, allow repeat callers, on and off, right there. So if you want to do not turn on the do not disturb, you want to go and turn this on, but I'm not going to do that. And you can also schedule it. Uh, default duration or restrict our notification. So that means no visual or sound from notification will uh, come on. Shortcut to prevent uh, ringing. Let's see. So it's on vibrate or you can mute it. Right here is the phone ringing tone. If you click on it, you can go in here and then select whatever the ringing tone that you want. Okay. And then uh, default notification sound. And if you want more, you can click on advanced and then I'll give you more option. You got the default alarm sound. You can select whatever alarm you want. And then you gotta press OK to confirm it. 
And this is nice. You got the DTS uh, audio processing, high resolution uh, audio immerse uh, experience support. It is on right now. And then uh, dial pad tone right now is on. So whenever I press a key on the dial uh, uh, app, it's going to make the sound. Screen lock sound. So as you see right now, there's no sound. So if I turn it on, it's going to make the sound. And then you got the charging sound and vibrations is on. Touch sound is on. Touch vibration it is on. So So let's go ahead and go to the storage. So uh, you get the 13.49 gigabyte out of uh, 32 gigabyte. So 42% is used. And then right here it tells you uh, how much I use for the photo and video. So I use a 0.26 gigabyte. So if you want free up space, you can click on that and you can clean whatever that you don't need. Music and uh, audio, 0 0.09 gigabyte. Games, 0 0.28 gigabyte. Those are the ones that are already installed when I got this phone. Movies and TV app, 0 0.50 gigabyte. Other apps is uh, 5.33 gigabyte. So yeah, the problem with this is uh, you have the AT&T uh, blower. System is uh, 7.11 gigabyte. So let's go ahead and uh, click on privacy. Right here, just a uh, permission manager, show password, uh, lock screen, Auto service from Google. I mean, you click on advanced, get more options. You got the Google location history, activity control, ads, usage, and diagnostics. So, and let's go ahead and then click on location. So, this one, uh, if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. You see uh, what apps in here that are using your location. So in case you don't want, you want to turn that off, you could uh, do that by uh, toggle here. So we have an earthquake alert that is on, emergency location service is on, Google location accuracy is on, Google location history, Google location sharing. So these are the apps I use using my uh, location. So via these apps. So there's a allow all the time. Or you could do a setting allow only while using app or deny. And then this is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, scanning. Uh, right here is uh, security. So again, there's a Google Play Protect security update. Find my uh, device. You need to uh, log into your Google account in order to find my uh, uh, phone. Uh, there's a pin lock. Fingerprint. And then there's also the SIM card lock. You don't want to mess with that. If you somehow enter it and then uh, you forgot your password, you're going to disable your SIM card and you need to go to the store and buy another SIM card. So, And then there's the advanced uh, screen pinning. 
So screen painting it is on. You can turn it off if you want. So screen painting is uh, if you go into one of the screen uh, from the app and if you want to pin it so you, no other app could open. And then there is the uh, account. Right here you need to set up your account, uh, your other Google account and automatic sync data and stuff like that. So if I click on add, it asks you all this account that I can set this up. Okay. And then there is uh, accessibility. So if you need to go set up those, you go ahead and do that and it will talk back to you. So And you could also set the font size, display size, stock theme again, magnification on or off, color correction on or off, color immerse, immersion, large mouse pointer, remove animation. Yeah, so yeah, this phone is so much uh, options over here or setting that you could do so. And then uh, you have this uh, digital well-being and uh, parent control. So right here, you can control uh, in case your kids is on your phone or something, or you need to you can control or manage the notification and click on parent control to set up right here. Right here, you get to uh, set up Google Family Link. It provides this phone remotely with the Family Link app for parents. Keep an eye on uh, screen time and uh, set limit as needed. Add restriction to uh, Google service like app approval or uh, content filtering on Google Play. So yeah, I'm not going to set those up. So you can set it up and stuff like that. And uh, bedtime mode, dashboard. Focus mode. Okay, another thing is that uh, you got a Google service and preference. It's just uh, some of the account service add auto fear and all this stuff for your Google. And then uh, you got the system. System right here. Got the uh, language and inputs. Right now it's in English. You can set the different languages over here or add a uh, language. So you got the one, two, three, four, four languages that you could uh, select. Well, actually five, Espanol too, so. And then uh, you could uh, select the keyboard, physical keyboard, not connected, advanced. Right here you could do a spell check, auto service, personal uh, dictionary, pointer speed, text to uh, speech output. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and then uh, talk about this uh, gesture. Uh, jump to camera, it is on. So to uh, quickly open camera, press the power button twice, wakes from any uh, screen. So it is on right now. So if I uh, double press the power button, it's going to go to the camera app. See? And then uh, I'm going to go over to with this uh, na uh, system navigation buttons right here. Right now we have this uh, three which is a uh, back button, home button, and then uh, recent app open. If you want, you can change to this. Gesture uh, navigation. So this is kind of tricky, okay? Uh, to go home, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. And to switch app, swipe up from uh, button, hold and release. And to uh, go back, swipe from uh, either left or right edge. For example, um, I'm going to swipe up. 
and hold that is the recent app so I guess select which one I want to go back to okay and to go home just swipe up because for example I opened uh, this and I want to go back I swipe on the edge from uh, right to left and this is to go back so yeah it's kind of tricky so you just need to uh, get some practice Right, do the three buttons. But that is good if you need to uh, watch YouTube or anything like that. You want to hide those uh, buttons. So for example, let's uh, go ahead and you, uh, watch YouTube. So for example, I'm on YouTube. And then I'm watching something. And those uh, three buttons are in the way. So if I want to uh, hide those buttons, gotta go back and then uh, turn this uh, gesture navigation on. So now you see the bar only. So now if I'm on, on YouTube right now, the bar is down here instead of uh, on the side. Okay. So hopefully that's uh, better. And then you have a prevent uh, ringing. Press uh, power and volume up together to vibrate. Or if you want, you could do it to mute it. If you do those combination. And the other one, just a uh, day and time, back up, advance. Uh, if you want to reset factory resetting this and then uh, multiple user you can set up a guest user or add user for your wife or your uh, kids or whatever and then last thing that's about about phone that show you all the IMEA number and stuff like that or there's a software update you check for update so uh, this one has uh, up to date already, so you don't need to do uh, some update. So we're gonna go over the camera. All right, before we uh, go into the camera, I'm going to uh, show you guys on how to do a split uh, screen. So you can uh, multitask on this phone. So for example, if you want to select an app, Okay, I'm going to uh, open my YouTube. And once you open the YouTube, you see that icon right there on the top. You're going to click on it. And make sure you do the split screen. That is your initial app. That's going to be on top. And then the second one could be like a, I don't know, calculator or text message or whatever you want. Or any game and stuff like that. So now you can see, I could play my YouTube and then uh, doing my calculation at the same time. So yeah, this one is the cobalt uh, blue colors. It's uh, pretty nice. And then the back end is uh, plastic. So it might get scratched easy, so you gotta be careful. As you can see, I still haven't taken out my camera lens uh, protective uh, shield. So let's go ahead and then, uh, turn this uh, Tessanix uh, camera.
Oh, I didn't get out my uh, full screen yet, so. So let's go ahead and then uh, open the camera. So as you see right now, it is a uh, four by three HDR. It is uh, off right now. You could uh, hit that and turn it on. Or you could uh, hit it to, there's an A over there, that means automatic. And good thing about the camera, this one has a beauty setting right here. So as you see on the screen, it shows a beauty mode, okay? And with the beauty mode, you could uh, select, right now it's on four by three. You could do a one by one or a full screen. So as you see, it fill up the whole display. It is on full screen. But just be careful when you do the full screen, the resolution uh, goes down compared to uh, four by three. And right here is a flash. You can use it as a flashlight or you can turn off the flash or you can turn on the flash. So when you turn on the flash, I mean, whenever, when I take the picture, the flash is gonna go on always. Unless uh, you hit the flash with the A, that means uh, automatic. So once you sense the darkness, you will determine if you need to uh, turn on the flash or not, if it is in a pretty dark environment. And if you want to, you could go ahead and click on the three dots right here. You get the more setting right here. Right here, there's uh, two different modes. There is a night mode, and then there is a slow motion. And we go to setting. Right here, you have a A megapixel. So you can click on that and then select what size. You get the 13 megapixel when you're on four by three. If you're on one by one, one to one ratio, it is on nine megapixel. And if you do the 20 by 9 ratio, it is on 8 megapixel. And over here, there is a touch shot. So right now it's off. So if I turn it on, and if I touch the screen, it's going to take the picture. And then right here is a self timer. Right now it's on off. You get the two seconds, five or 10. And then this is the shutter sound. If you want it on or off, if you want to be a spy, you want to go ahead and uh, turn it off. So when you take a picture, it's not going to make no noise. And then here's a geotagging, if you want it on or off. So every time when you take the picture, when it's on, it will show you the location every time you take the picture of it. And then you got the uh, framing of the border lines, or the grid, this is called the grid view. So you know if you're uh, taking a picture in a straight line or not. And then uh, if you got this uh, anti-flicker, you can select uh, auto, or if you're a different country, you can select 50 hertz or 60 hertz. And then there are different modes right here. We were on beauty mode. But if you click on this, right now it's on regular camera mode. If you click on it, it becomes a wide angle. Okay. 
So yeah, as you can see, this is more like a close up. So when you press the wide angle, you get a more view. And right here is to zoom in and out. And if you're on regular camera, you can do the same thing, zoom in and out. All right, so this one right here, it is the Pro Tray mode. So Pro Tray means uh, you take a picture and you blur the background, okay? Or it also uh, known as a bokeh effect. So if I take a picture, And then uh, this is a camera, or oh, there's a video. This is to record video. So let's go back to camera. We'll talk about camera real quick. Uh, right here, it's a time lapse. So wait, wait, we're gonna stick on with the camera for now. Okay, you see this icon right here? This is a macro. So if you need to take something that is very close and focus, it doesn't go uh, blur, blurry. So macro means I more like a close up that you need to take. So imagine I don't have that and I'm putting so close, it is blurry. You see that? So if I put on macro, you see, it's more clear. And then right here, you see those three circles, those are the filters. And these are the filters name. Got the Palm, Metro, Elfie, Blush, None and uh, what the Modena, Rio, Bazaar, Apaca. So I'm going to remove it, and then this is what it looked like. Okay, got all the different. Those are the different uh, filters. And right here is the time lapse. And there are the speed right here you can uh, slick on. 5 times, 10 times, 60, 180, and then uh, 300. And then you could also use a wide angle. And if you want to flip it, your camera, this is the, to flip it to the selfie camera, right? And if you go to video, right here you can select, right now it's on 720p, you can change to uh, 1080p. All right, and right here, if you want the flash on or not. So imagine if you try to record at nighttime and need a flash, so I just uh, toggle that on. And this is the stabilizer, so it doesn't shake as much. Right now it's off. If I turn it on, you want to see, you'll show something on the display right here. Stabilizer has been uh, enabled. And if you want to go more setting, go in here again. Right here, again, you have the shutter sound, uh, geotagging, and then uh, anti-flickering. And you got the same thing, uh, night mode or uh, slow motion.
So here are some of the pictures that I took earlier just now. Also, oh, this one this is the one that I try to test with the macro. This one is the macro on, and this one is the macro off. So this one's supposed to be more uh, clear, but I'm not sure if you guys could tell the difference. So, and again, this one right here, I use a macro. I see you see it is a uh, very close up, and it is pretty uh, legible. And this is some of the portrait more I try to take effect. Selfie, 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 night time. So yeah, night time without the flash looks more nasty looking, so. Well, yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like this uh, video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or uh, drop in the comments on below. So yeah, first I thought uh, this was like a Samsung phone because of the teardrop or the LG. The reason I picked this one is because uh, this one has a 3 gigabyte of RAM. Compared to the new Samsung uh, A11, that one only has a uh, two gigabyte of RAM. Or the LG uh, Phoenix uh, 4, that one only has a uh, two gigabyte of RAM as well. So you want to have a uh, more gigabyte of RAM, so there's no lagging or anything like that. So I've been using this, then test it out. So that's why it takes a long time for me to do the review. Plus I'm pretty busy. So anyway. I will see you guys on the next uh, video, guys. Like always, peace.